Hi Dresso Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Barrel from the Nightmare Before Christmas. So let's get started. To draw this cute trick-or-treater, let's first start by drawing his eyes. So we're going to come right here and draw a really big circle. So let's go up and nice and round. Big, because we need to draw another circle inside. So this is the opening of his mask. And then let's come right next to it, say about right here, and draw another circle. Nice and big. There. Then let's come back inside. We're going to draw another circle towards the bottom right here. I'm just going to go ahead and stick this circle inside here. And same thing right here towards the bottom. Just tuck this circle inside. I made it a little too small. <laughs> okay, so well, you know what? Let's just go ahead and thicken it up just like the other side. There. Okay, so then let's come back into the center area right here. We're going to draw another circle, but we're just gonna fill it in. Small little dot in the center. There. Okay, so then now that we have the eyes in, um, let's go above each eye. We're just gonna draw a soft curve. And then now let's come and draw the nostrils. So right in between in this area right here, I'm just gonna draw two little angle lines and thicken it up. There, and then now to draw the mouth. So I'm gonna come up here, night, kind of like where the nostril area is, come around about here past the eye, and I'm going to give myself a point and just going to drag it across so about right here as well same thing and we're going to basically draw a bunch of curves at a big curve going over to here so let's go ahead and we're just going to go and draw a curve just remember we're drawing this deep smile of a curve so we're just going to keep going down just remember you're going to go up back here so this is about my center and now i'll go back up If it's easier for you, you can always just draw a uh, curve and then use, just draw these small curves over it if that helps guide you. Okay, so then now that we have this, we're going to round this off right here to thicken everything. And same thing here, we're just gonna thicken it up. So we're just gonna follow those curves that we've created. So that's like one, we're just gonna keep going. there because we have to connect them so so we want to follow whatever you drew at the top there and then let's go ahead and we're going to connect everything so everywhere you have these joints just connect it and here and then we're going to draw a line all the way across right in the center Ta-da! There. <laughs> All done. So then now we're going to draw this really big ovalish circle head, right? This mask shape. So hmm, let's say, let's come to where the mouth is since it's kind of like where the widest part is. I'm just going to come say the top of my mouth, come up, out, I mean, and give myself a point. Same thing here. So whatever it's easiest for you to draw this big um, head. So I'm going to come about right here and we're just going to go around and I'm just going to bring this up. So definitely turn your paper, your body. And so that's about my center. Now I'm going to bring it down to that point I gave myself there. So nice big curve and then we're going to do the same thing at the bottom but the bottom is going to be a little bit shallower so let's bring this down right underneath the mouth so that's our center so let's say about right here I'll just give myself a point so I know where I'm going and then from there I'm just gonna move a little bit my body so it's a little bit easier and bring it to this point and same thing here
It's so hard when it's so big. <laughs> to look at my camera, make sure I'm going at the right. So sorry for all the messy lines. Okay, there. So I have this big ovalish circle. Then from there, we're gonna come back to the top and about right here, just taper it in. I'm just gonna wobble a little bit of mound of hair, indication of his hair. And then let's come back to kind of where the mouth is again, and we're going to draw some ears. Just pop out ear, so that we know that it is a mask that we're drawing, and not his actual face. So let's bring this curve in, and ears. There. So now we can finally draw the body. So let's come about right here in the center. We're gonna give him this thick neck, a little line right here in the center. And then we're going to draw it. Come down for her shoulders. And then let's give him a neckline right here. And about right here, kind of like where his armpit area would be, I'm just going to draw an angle line down. Let's bring it down a little bit more. And about right here, and then I'll just wobble my way across for his top. Okay, so then now that we have that, let's draw his leg. So by right here, just just the drawing of Drew of Locke. We're gonna draw these pants, so just a little angle, and then we're going to come here as well. So it's a little bit thinner towards here, the bottom end connect. There. And then his feet. We're just going to draw these come at an angle and then zigzag three across. So same thing here. One, two, and three. There. And then for the hands, let's just bring this down. And to about right here, go ahead and connect. And then little hands, thumb, and then round it off and fingers. So same thing on the other side, about right here. Connect and the fingers. Them and then round it off and connect. So then now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and draw some details. So he's like a skeleton, right? So we're going to have to draw some bones. So I'm going to come to the center right here and just wobble these organic shapes. And then about right here in the center, I'll draw a heart as one of the bones <laughs> and then continue my center spine. So I'm just kind of drawing these wobbly squares all the way down there. And then we're going to draw some ribs. So let's see here, three of them. And one more. So this one, this heart makes sense, right? Because it's the heart right there. <laughs> and one more. And then um, some bones here as well. So we're just going to part of a bone right here. And then a full one right here. Down and up. So same thing on this side. There. And then even on the sleeves, if you want to put in a lot of details, we're just going to part of the bone half of the bone. So same thing here. There. And that is pretty much it. And the complete set of the cute trick-or-treaters from the Nightmare of Before Christmas. So definitely check out Shock, um, Lock, and Barrel here um, in my the the Nightmare Before Christmas playlist. Thanks so much for uh, watching. And if I helped you out today and made this fun and easy for you to follow along, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Jurassic Cube videos. See you later.